In this really quick video, we're going to show you how to connect Management Studio to your common data service environment. So stay tuned. Welcome back. My name is Brian Knight from Pragmatic Works. In today's video, we're going to show you a really brief way to connect to Management Studio to common data services to run queries just like you do in T-SQL against your common data services entities. So there's really two steps to do this. Let's jump out to my environment here. And just keep in mind, my environment has its own name, so you're not going to want to copy everything from this video 100%. You're going to want to get your information out. So I opened up my environment and I went to make.powerapps.com. I'll go to the gear box and then I'll click on admin center. This is going to open up the admin center where I'll be able to select that environment and I want to do two things inside this environment. First of all, I need the URL out. So the URL is going to appear right here. Now keep in mind, this, this is different than what yours is going to look like, so you want to get your environment for this example. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this link address, and we're going to lose the HTTPS in front of that. That's going to be really important, and then we're going to add a port number at the end of that inside of Management Studio. Now to turn this feature on, it is a preview feature right now, but to turn it on, and I've been using this for a little while and it's pretty darn stable, we'll go to Settings, then we're going to go to Product and Features. And we'll turn the feature on down here on the bottom right. It's called TDS Endpoint. It's a preview feature. Now, by turning this on, it not only can do things like allow you to connect to uh, Management Studio, but can also allow you to treat your, treat your CDS like a SQL server for things like direct query with Power BI. Now, with direct query, you essentially get real-time analytics against your CDS entities. So it's two things. We'll do a follow-up video later today on that one piece. So with that now done, our next step is open up Management Studio. I'm going to paste in. I went ahead and selected uh, Connect, and I went to chose Database Engine here. And then after I do that, okay, I'm going to lose this HTTPS. Let me zoom in so you guys can see that. I'm going to lose HTTPS, and at the end here, I'll do 5558 is the port number. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use, I'm using multi-form authentication in my case, so it'll, it'll text me. And you'll just choose whatever, whatever works for you in your case. Then I'll hit connect. Once I do that, it's going to ask me for my password. And just be warned, it's going to prompt me for, it's going to prompt me also to authenticate. Okay, I, I must have already done that today. Now that I've done that, under databases, you'll see my, int, my, uh, my database here for common data services. We'll also see tables, and it's treating this just like a SQL server now. And because it's doing that, I can go ahead and do select uh, all the same kind of T-SQL logic inside of common data services. So things like select star from, and I go ahead and drag over a list of, um, oh, under my prag underscores here. I can drag over something like uh, you know, failed banks, for example, and see a list of all the failed banks here. You can also do things like group, uh, or you can do some things like uh, um, counts and uh, where clauses in here. So I can say uh, where, how about we use something like uh, the bank name. So let me just go ahead, let me go ahead and expand this a little bit here so we can see this. So it's going to feel a lot like T-SQL. So I can say, where's my city here? Okay, it looks like it's called CR. CR9D4 underscore city, oop, underscore city is equal to, we'll, we'll put Atlanta in here. Okay. Now, once we do that, we're only getting the Atlanta field banks. You also have the ability to do things like, you know, your count stars and those kind of things to find as 10 field banks. So a lot of these like really quick queries that we can do, we can now do inside of an environment that we're already used to using as a developer. There's a few caveats here. Most of your joins and all those kind of things are going to work here. However, some of the things that will not work, the most notable things that are not going to work are your uh, create, your, re your update, and your delete commands. So you cannot go through and say, uh, if I were to go and say, you know, delete from this table, it's going to say, ah, uh -uh, can't do it. 
So those kind of data change operations this is a read-only database right now. And uh, so you see, actually, says it has read only right here. So you can those read operations are what you can do now. Later at another time, who knows? They might they might actually add other stuff. But right now, I was pretty excited. They gave you options to actually uh, do most queries that you can do in T SQL can be done here for those basic kind of queries that you want to do those those joins, those those aggregate queries, and all those types of things. Um, all right. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more, uh, please go on our website at pragmaticworks.com. Also, please go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell as well. But thanks for watching this video. And also check out this follow-up video I'm going to do on uh, Power BI and direct query with that. Have a great day. Bye.